morning, I fam. You're joining us in the car this morning. We're actually just at the petrol station. Chris's favourite thing to do, obviously. Look at his face. Look at that. Look at his little face. He's eagerly watching those pounds ticking up. He's wishing that the pound sign would stop going up and up and up and up. He's feeling the pitter patter in his heart right now. He's thinking, I wish. Oh, can he stop it on the. Can he stop it? Oh, he's going slow at 60p. We'll go slow at 60p. Did he do? Oh, he went a penny over. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> he's fuming. He's absolutely fuming. <laughs> You're right, babe. You're fuming. Hey. <laughs> oh, what now? You're fuming. Why? You went a penny over. <laughs> 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 no bother. I'm, I'm not even trying to uh You slow down at 60p going really slow like good -do -do, good -do. <laughs> He's definitely bothered. He's telling pockets. Anyway, we're at the post we're at the petrol station because we've got a load of baby and me parcels ready to be dropped off with the courier here. And when once that's done, I think we're actually going to head to go outdoors because <sighs> I've got the camping bug back. I've got the, you know, the the summer vibes, the summer caravan trips, and we need a new barbecue. The barbecue that we've got, we've had since 2019, I think, and it has a hole in it. So I said to Chris, we should go and buy one. There's actually these cooking, I don't know what they're called, but they're like a cooking stove that I always see people have on campsites, and they, they I'm sure you can connect them up to gas because I always see like an orange tube coming from them, but they're meant to be really, really good. They're like a um, a diverse cooking hob tool stove barbecue looking thing so I think we're gonna head out and get one of those we've left the three older girls at home doing homeschool and we've got Jason Mila obviously here in the back with us so whilst the girls are busy with their tutors at home me and Sarah have to nip out to pick up a couple of things for something that's happening next week which we're really excited about <laughs> So boring. <laughs> Does she just give it away straight away what we're doing? She doesn't have to roll up any suspense about it now. Oh wow, that's so, not suspense about go out and talk. Yeah, exactly. Camping shops are like suspense when you're at 60p and you're going really slow to get to you. <laughs> well, actually, I don't understand why she's taking it. Yeah, alright, who doesn't go to the fuel pump and try to stop exactly on the pound for dead zero? That's too complicated for me. <laughs> anyway, who, who doesn't do that? I'm always going to want to go over by a penny. <laughs> I want it to be a whole number. Anyway, so we decided that on the way, we'd accidentally pulled into this little airport cafe that's nearby. It's really nice. There's planes taking off outside the window every two seconds. And the main point of it is that they do a great lunch. So we thought we might have a little lunch date with a little two. Do you always feel guilty when we do things like this without three girls? Yeah, but we don't tell them. Well, they don't know. No, but... no, but don't you feel guilty though? Like, <coughs> yeah. No. I'll be at home having like a cheese sandwich. Or just... No, I feel rich. Because <laughs> it doesn't cost as much. Yeah. <laughs> Don't cost double the money. I feel rich. Sometimes you have to be a little bit. Oh, thanks, baby. Such a cheer. Get off my. 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 You wanted tea? You got tea? I don't want tea anymore. Look at me, look. Oh, look at the airplane. So, what? Quick distraction by the airplane. I'm sure she'll want water instead of all them marshmallows. Hey, darling. So, I went for a breakfast wrap. That looks absolutely delicious. Jason Mila went for a spam and egg sandwich. It's his favourite. How good is that? <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Alright, obviously I'm going to be, what's it called? Flexitarian this morning. <laughs> Treat me centre a bit of spam, a bit of sausage and a bit of egg. Can somebody please tell me when my baby girl just grew up? <laughs> oh, you don't like that? Oh, that's better. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, I'll be <laughs> Turn this plate round. She's trying to get the sauce. Ready too busy eating his own sandwich. <laughs> well, that was a really gorgeous little lunch day, and now we're doing something that is absolutely amazing, especially this time of year when everything gets put out and it's all exciting. We've come to a camping shop. <laughs> That's so cool. What I'm talking about is right now we're going to go outdoors because, drum roll please, it's raining. <laughs> 
next week. We might be going to do something real fun that might involve some camping. Today's the only day we've got to sort all our little bits that we need to sort out for when we go. So because we have a really busy weekend this weekend, we've got family coming to stay with us. It's Anna's birthday. Um, so we've got today and tomorrow to sort our little bits out. So today is the day. We haven't really got tomorrow because we've got something mega happening tomorrow. So excited to share that with you guys. Are Insane. Are sharing that? I don't think we should. No, I think we, it should be kept we, to we've, we video, It's going to take all day. We video our daily lives, so we're going to have to do that. One. Open the door, please. Okay. Right. Let's go, guys. Are you ready? Yeah, so stand by for that because tomorrow is going to be epic. Trust. Anyways, we've got my two favourite little helpers. Thank you, Jace, very much. You're such a good boy. Uh, little Miwis, who loves to copy everything Jace does right now. It's so cute whenever Jace says anything. In fact, anybody in the family says anything. She started to do this in where she just copies. Like, Mila, come here. Come here. Come she'll here. She copies like the last word. So if I say, come on, Jace, she'll go, Jace. Yeah, sure. If I say, don't touch that, that. <laughs> come over here. Here. <laughs> she like repeats like the last word that you say in every sentence. It's so funny. Jace will go, Mimi's look at this. And she'll go, this. It's so, it's really sweet. <laughs> Mom, Do you want to push the trolley? Mama, that's not the trolley. Yeah. Oh yeah, but it's soaking wet, so I wouldn't go in there. Yeah, it does open up though, babe. We can right. have a look in a minute. I'm quite fancy in the kitchen. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. I really like these. I'd really like a new outdoor kitchen type thing. And this one looks really cool. I like the ones with a sink. Not sink, but you know, like, well, you could put hot soapy water in that. Yeah. Or you could put water just to wash your veggies or whatever you, you're making. But I really like these style ones. But I'm sure when we last went to um, caravan shop, took about a caravan, I saw one in that shop. That's and I can't remember. Part. I can't remember what made that one so good, but I can remember looking at it thinking, oh my gosh, I really, really would love that. Just have a look at that one. And then. it was not as good as that, and it was better than this one, I think. I'm sure it was, so I don't think we should buy we'll that. put the kitchen on the back burner, just oh, for what's, now. What's that? It looks like a hospital bag. Yeah, no, it's well, like, a, like a drip. What's that? IV feed or something. It's like an IV thingy. What would you put on there? Rubbish bag. I don't something. know. No, it's too high up. A flag? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yo, these are so cool. Never seen these before. Look at these bagged up mac and cheese. <laughs> Beans and sausages in a bag. That's disgusting. <laughs> Veggie breakfast in a bag. That's disgusting. Come. Five pound per meal with my me discount card. That's not bad, you know. Put these bags in your caravan. <laughs> we put out, warm it up, sorted. I think these definitely are for people in, who are camping in tents. But they are really cool, actually. Store them proper small. Meatballs and pasta. <laughs> so these are what I think I was talking about. I always see these on every other caravan slash camping setup. Everyone always has these. And I'm sure last year when we were looking at camping gear, loads of you guys recommended these as well and said that they were really good. I'm not too sure why though. <laughs> not too sure what makes them so good. But I think it's like an all-in-one cook, cook thing. So if I take that lid off, I think this comes off as well to make like a barbecue. Or maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But yeah, they look really good. And I feel like instead of just buying a regular, another barbecue, which is what we've used and got previously, I think I'd rather buy one of these all-in-one cook things, even though we've obviously in the caravan or the van or whatever we go away in, we do have obviously like the full oven and hob. I don't like cooking though in a caravan because I feel like it's such a small space. It, it just smells, you know, it smells of your cooking, <laughs> depending on what you're cooking, but it does often smell of whatever you've cooked and it's hard to get that smell out of like curtains and things like that, unless you're washing them, which is just a big fath. When, we, when we're a, a fath, when, fath, 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 a fath. And when we go like away in the caravan or the van, I do prefer to cook outside. It just feels nicer and more special. So yeah, instead of, a barbecue I think we might go for one of these okay so I think we're gonna go with this one which looks absolutely beasty you can literally cook is it beasty Mila you can cook so much on this um and it just looks absolutely mega these are some extra plates I think that you can buy so it comes with the barbecue grid uh it comes with what else does it come with watch out sweetie pie it comes with the um the paella pan and it comes with the oh what else does it come with it comes with this one i think oh yeah let me see oh no that's optional extra so it doesn't come with that it comes with the ones that don't say optional optional extra so that one that one and then this and i think chris has just gone to see if they've got any extras so we can get a few more um tops to go with it as well 
the lady that was telling me about these actually recommended this one um, because it's one that she uses. <laughs> she said it's good. She said you literally cook everything I on it. I past the gas lines one second. <laughs> Chris is also looking at the gas lines because you can have like an external gas canister to work this, but our caravan actually comes with an external outport hatch so you can use the gas she's okay so you can use the gas from the actual caravan basically so he needs to find the right lead for that <laughs> careful and then these are the extra um pan tops that you can buy quite expensive just for the extra pan lid and i'm not actually sure that we need although i do like that pizza one you can make pizza so we just had this bed out just to check it we really could do with another bed in the caravan just for Mila to sleep on so she's not having to share with me um, anymore because obviously we're getting out of that routine and this seems like a really good option so it's like a, a pop-up bed and then we thought we'd buy one of these as well Jason and Mila come out of that one of these pop-up blow-up mattresses and the really good thing about those is that they pop up and then pop back away really 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 quickly and easily um, obviously our caravans a big caravan but it doesn't quite fit us all and when we went away for Mila's birthday Chris ended up sleeping on one of these blow up mattresses in the morning <laughs> yeah only because we're co sleeping though yeah because we were I mean, they, could, with Mila. they could physically easily go three in a bed yeah but not got, yeah but it'd be better to have a separate bed not not Mila, not really definitely. comfortably so we need we want a separate bed anyway for Mila and not one obviously that goes in the awning because she has to be in the caravan with us so we thought that'd be a good option to go like in the in the alleyway what's it called uh, the aisle. The aisle. You know, where the kitchen part is of the caravan. Next to Isla and Next Jason. to Isla and Jason's bed, basically. <laughs> but we're not 100% sure on the size, so we're not going to... That is a good option. Now we've tried yeah. it out. We got the thing out, opened it up, put that on top, tested it for us, and it was comfy for us, so it's definitely going to be comfy for Mila with, like, a duvet on there. I sleep on it, me. Exactly. <laughs> it's well nice. But we don't want... We're trying to get Mila out of sleeping with us, so that's a really good option. We need to just measure the caravan first. You better check out this deal of the week. 20 oh pounds, Chris... portable pressure washer, oh yeah, yeah. No, no leads, no hose pipes, no power cables, fill it up, pump it, squirt it, buzz in. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I don't use it to clean the caravan before something when we go away out of the van, I'll be able to squirt the kids with it and they'll love that. <laughs> We've now come to Yorkshire caravans oh, yeah. <laughs> we need to see if we can get that lead for that, the cooker yeah. that we've just bought, the gas lead basically. Um, for our caravan and I do also want to have a look at that little kitchenette that I know I saw in my head but I can't remember what it was and why it was so good and why I wanted it so much so hopefully they've still got that there and we can check that out too I don't really know why he's um, levitating over towards the caravans <laughs> babe I just like six months old we're not buying a new caravan our caravan's at home sweetheart <laughs> look how drift she is my monkey <laughs> What, what have you found? I'm gonna help. <gasps> I've got a monkey chair. <laughs> you look so cute. Yeah. You found a monkey chair. Yeah, I don't want this monkey chair, I want this dino You like the one. big dino one? Yeah. Guys, I found the kitchen nice, that I was looking for. I don't I don't know what, what, what um, yeah, I like it. It's really good. Actually. I like how it's got, and also like on the end here, yeah, like it. it's got these that you can put like a bin bag on. Utensils. I don't know. Would you use the cooking things? Would you use the electric Hop top still. we've got or would you use the thing from the van? The gas one from the van? No, that one that we've got like this in blue. One. Yeah. And then there's like you one second Jace. No. Then there's this here. And then you've got the little sink wash up area. I can't remember what this is. What what's this? Is this a bag? Looks like it's been popped on the wrong way. Looks like a bag or something. Um and then I mean, I, what were these before? Plates? Yeah, you could put all sorts on, couldn't you? Oh, they've got spices, spices on them. And all that. Yeah, spices and things, look. It's like a proper kitchen. It's cool. You put cups on there as well. The thing I like about this one is that um, all the pans and stuff can just be away. Yeah. Whereas the other one, the other one didn't have this. I, I should have took a picture of the other one now. I can't remember Go the difference. Oh, but no battery. No. I'm sure... Goodbye. I'm sure this had... Um, I'm sure it was just shelves here. And I can't go on the Go Outdoors website because I've only got 10% battery. I need to save that just in case the girls need us. Yeah, we do. So, um, yeah. Oh! I can just look on the footage! Uh. <laughs> just having a bit of a play around uh, with this park. So I was like, what is that? And it's really handy. 
little net at the side. But yeah, I just looked back on the vlog of us filming the other one and I definitely like this one better. It just seems more compact and I think it actually all folds down into like a suitcase, like suitcase style um, package basically. I think this one might be the one that go with Mila trying to carry this monkey chair. What darling? Help. I know you can, darling. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Well, the two seconds, I need to quickly run to the car to double check something in that box. For that. Is it this one? Do you yeah, I think it's that one. I'll be two seconds. We reckon it's this that we need. I'll go with you, Mila. Okay, say thank you. Say thank you. Jace. You're a good little helper. Nice, nice. <laughs> this is huge. What oh, on earth? It's oh, cute, isn't it? Yeah. I can't believe how big this is. It's like a house. Yeah. This is massive. Yeah. Wow, and the ceilings are so high. Are, are they good? Yeah. Man, are these are slide chairs. No, they're not slide chairs, so we don't use them as that. I just noticed that the reason this is so big is because it's two different tech. <laughs> Two different awnings. Awesome. <laughs> you're chilling, you're getting camping mode. This one's a, a yeah, pole chilling. awning and then this one's a blow up. So it's not one full one. Like I thought it was. I love this. Chris was just saying we love this corner unit. It's so easy to get it's so easy to get carried away, isn't it? When you yeah. when you go camping yeah, and looking for things. That'd be so good though for shoes and things. And then this has got a really cute outdoor bit as well, which we got with our new awning as well. You. Yeah. And this is what most people do when camping. <laughs> you notice? <laughs> I got my kitchen. This is so much fun. <laughs> James climbed on and went, on yeah, on yeah, on yeah please. <laughs> yeah. She wants to copy everything James does at the minute. It's so sweet. He went in for packing tea. You're worse than me. What the heck are they? What on earth are they? He went in for packing tape, guys. Because we've got baby and me parcels where a few of you guys have ordered four or five blankets so they need to go in boxes what on earth have you bought them two trees at the front of the house are dead right and they look awful so they're going in bin and these are going, these are going in the place you're a nightmare <laughs> you're, a, you're worse than me well that just shows how much notice you take of me why did you actually get packing tape yeah I did yeah so i went into home bargains first because a Chris, well, we really wanted to get a barbecue tool set for this weekend. What else did I go in for? There was uh, something else. Oh, a, a doormat, a doormat for the front of the caravan. Uh, so we're not having to use a towel like we did at the weekend. Jason and Milo are fast asleep. They are awake now because I might have taken a little bit longer than um, a few minutes. But I came out and I said to Chris, like, grab this, grab that. I didn't want to open the back doors because they will, were still asleep. I said, oh, I got some. Um, Kitchen roll. Chris, Chris loves kitchen roll. If anyone's looking for a birthday present for Chris, Chris, Wait, kitchen roll. Glass with it? All the glass in it. We go through so glass. much kitchen roll. Anyway, I said I got some kitchen roll. He's just come out, put the trees in the boot, and said, "Oh, I also got some kitchen roll." I literally told you like a minute before you walked in, I'd bought kitchen roll. Look how tight Chris is though. He has to get the one. He has to get the one pack. I'm, I'm, you only get I'm, one. I'm glad now how much was that? No, no, me. Is that bad? No, because this was. Two pounds something, and you get two ten rolls on each one, uh, and it's and it's longer. Well, so it's now more us. we can get rid of them dead trees, and we can put them fakies in the place. So they feel nice. bad. No, because all good of now. our trees that we bought when we moved into this house are dead, and yeah, we had such high expectations for them. So sad times. And they're all dead. Anyway, yeah, but we've also got, and then we've got the electrician doing them lights on the front of the house as well. Oh, we've we're having some work done on the front of the house, guys, which I'm really excited about. So Chris wants the house to look like Blackpool Illuminations. <laughs> so the, despite the fact that our house on the place that we live is the most lit up house ever, like if you're flying over our our place that we live our house is going to be the I'm one that miss it. you're not going to miss it um but yeah chris, chris thinks we need front. more so he's got an electrician coming round to is it we haven't got the lights he's got them. he's provided yeah, he's oh my gosh i bet that's we should have got them ourselves <laughs> <laughs> we've got an electrician coming around anyway fitting a load of new lights to the front of the house i don't know why because we've got 
massive beam lights on the front of our house already. Yeah, but these are going to make it look like beam lights plus yes. warm, More lights. cozy lights as well. Whatever. So really good. Whatever. Um, With and then too, it'll look really smart. So when Mum and Pa come around this weekend, it'll look all fresh and nice. So we're getting lights for you and my dad coming around this weekend. No, but I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. We're also having our wall in our house extended and railings put in. You know, like rail, nice railings. Yes, we are. Um, and the gate replaced as well. And we're having the gate replaced because the gate that we got put on was wood, and it just looks a bit. Well, it's got a, it's got a I mean, metal, it's frame. Right. It's metal frame. It's a metal frame. It's an electric the gate. It's wood, and it's just it's, it's, just, it's, it's already aging. Yeah. So, so we're nice. having the gate replaced with what is it that we're having it replaced with? Uh, it's a metal gate with where the wood is. It's basically like these plastic new plastic composite panels yeah. that don't age. Basically, basically the guy that came age. out because we, we've had like people out giving us quotes for things. He said that this is what he'd recommend. Like wood's just like a it's not a great thing to have. <laughs> And yeah, he recommends. Guy, he's the guy who's going to do the, the new gate intercom system as well. Yeah, and he's putting a new gate intercom system on, intercom system on as well. We're having the panelling done, the fencing. The, sorry, the, you know what I mean? The metal, it's going to be like that around the house. I know what I mean. I don't know what the word is for them. Uh, Just metal railings around the house. Yeah. Basically around the wall, top of the wall. And then we were debating, I think this might have to wait, but we were debating it on having the whole gravel taken up which I'm thinking is probably going to be quite expensive that won't it? It will but I do think we need to do it. I, I do, the gravel's great because it's tidy and it never looks it's not. bad. It's not. Some of the weeds come through it in the minute. It's a mess. Whatnot, but other than that it doesn't look bad whereas the tarmac's yeah. dry you have to kind of keep it, you have to watch out for cracks and stuff like that. So it. basically we've got a huge area outside like it's not just the drive it's like the whole of the front garden it goes all the way around the back. When we first moved in we had the back scraped up and a patio put down um, but we kind of want I'd love that space to be somewhere that Jason the girls and Mila and stuff can ride like their bikes and their scooters because it is a it. really big space yeah, like and it's just wasted no no that's not why we're doing it down yeah. it's not <laughs> um, and it, <laughs> so basically we want um, yeah we do eventually want to have the whole gravel taken up and something else put down I don't know if tarmac's the best Maybe yeah. brick. Oh, maybe brick, yeah. But I reckon that'd be so much money. Uh, well, no, I, the bricks were not going to be smooth for the bikes and stuff either, really. It it's would. Kind of like, da -da 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 -da. It mm. won't. It won't. It, it needs to be like tarmac Depends or something like that. it's done professionally properly. Yeah. Which, going from um, our previous track record of stuff that we've had done. We never picked like good We never seem to just workers. get good luck with good Apart workers. They do been... try, but it's just, it always, it never ends up right. Like, we've we had plumbers out to do work and we've spent a fortune and it's just not rectified the problem. The patio that we got put out the back, we spent a lot of money on that, didn't we? It was like 12 grand or something. Yeah, it had issues. When we first moved in. And it's just rubbish. I'm sorry, but it's rubbish. No, it's, the patio's it lovely. Is. It's just, it's got... It's uneven. Bad. It's not uneven. It's, it you're wrong about that. It's not uneven. It is. It's, the, it's meant to drain that way. All to the middle, so you've got a big swimming pool in the middle of the patio. Okay. No, it's not. So what happens with the patio is that when it rains heavy is that we get a, a, we get a little puddle in the middle of it. We get a pool. It's now, it's made out of like the, the, the grout between the, t between the stone is meant to be a porous thing that sucks the water, that gets rid of the water basically. It doesn't. But it stopped doing that. It did do it when we first moved in, but now it's not doing it. So yeah. we get a puddle that we have to brush away, which kind of sucks. It's a bit annoying. So yeah. Anyway, I, I whatever. For that reason, it must be uneven in the middle. It is definitely uneven. You anyway, can't see it to look at it, but I get it. I get it. We need to go. We need to go and make dinner. <laughs> see the girls because we've been out for a few hours now, and then. Um, We'll see you guys when we get there. So mum and dad have just got home and we've finished having dinner and I am about to get all my clothes out and have a shower because I'm going out tomorrow. So I'm trying to get everything, you know, organized, pre prepared the night before. So I'm thinking we're gonna have a little, a little pamper, se pamper session. I'm just gonna get a shower. But about to get all that out, have a nice relaxing shower. So I cannot shower without having any music on. Like it's just so, I don't think anyone else gets that, but I genuinely, if I get in the shower and I've got no music in the background, it's not the same. I don't know if anyone else struggles with this after getting out the shower, but I have like no motivation to do my hair at all. Like I get out the shower, my hair's dripping wet. And you know, it takes about, I'm not even joking, an hour to blow dry my hair. And I just, it always, whenever I get out of the shower, I just don't have motivation to do it ever. I don't know if anyone else can, can, can my stutter's so bad tonight. I don't know, you can, I don't know if anyone else can relate to that, but honestly, I get out of the shower, I just can't, I brush it, but I just can't. I can't bother spending an hour blow drying it. I really can't be bothered, but if I don't do it, 
I know I've got to style it as good tomorrow. Oh. Seeing as I'm being so hashtag relatable tonight, I don't know if anyone else who has glasses experiences this, but like, whenever I take my glasses off, I really don't recognise myself. It's really weird. So I'm trying to wear my glasses less and less so that I don't feel weird when I do take them off. Um, I don't know if anyone else experiences that, but I'm debating on what I wear tomorrow. Now, I always do this where I'm like, I really want to wear this, but is it practical? Like, I was going to wear a skirt with some tights, and I'm thinking, it's going to be cold. I can't really do that. So, we have two options. We brave it, and we wear fluffy tights, and hope for the best, or we go with something that's a bit more chill. I'm very picky when it comes to clothes when I'm going out. So I just came upstairs after dinner. I'm about to jump in the shower, but I just wanted to show you number one, the most delicious looking hot chocolate ever. Oh my goodness, look at that. Chris just brought me this up. Oh, I kind of feel like I need to not get a shower now and I need to get a bath instead. And then secondly, I wanted to show you this absolutely beautiful bib. It's a bit random showing this at this part of the vlog, but I just opened this package that actually arrived a few days ago and it's the most softest, beautiful quality bib I think I've ever ever fell i'm using a different camera so apologies that this is so close to my mush um but anyway this was gifted to me by a small business on instagram that i've actually had something from before a beautiful muslin blanket that i actually gifted to my sister not too long ago just before we went on our trip because she wanted a thin thin type muslin blanket all mine are like six layers are like blankets <laughs> Mine are really quite thick, but she wanted like a thinner one for inside the house to um, snuggle up Kobe in. So she was looking for a nice soft one and she said that all the ones that she'd found in the shops were like really rough or stiff, which I've actually found with some muslin blankets as well. But this one was absolutely gorgeous. It was a panda one. I did show it on a vlog a while ago. Um, and when she was looking for one, I thought that'd be the perfect little thing to give to her. So I gave her that, but this is from the same company. It's called, is it Design? Designs by a little bit of hope. I'll actually pop up their Instagram. It's just a really lovely small business on Instagram that just deserve a shout out basically. And they very kindly gifted Mila this adorable safari print bib basically. It's really cute. It's got cuffed sleeves and then obviously the little pocket down at the bottom and it's in this safari print which is just absolutely gorgeous. I can't actually remember the prints that this does come in. I know it comes in like a tractor's one as well. Um, and there's a third one. I can't remember the third one. But it's just such a lovely bib. It's even got the really cute buttons on the back. And it's just, it feels, you know, sometimes these bibs feel really plasticky. We've had some from, where's Mila had these from? Ikea, is it? Yeah. It's Ikea, isn't it? And they feel like really rough and plasticky. This feels so soft. And yeah, I just wanted to give them a shout out. Even if you're not interested in buying a bib right now, go and give her a follow, like, interact on her posts because she's a just small businesses are just struggling at the minute. And um, it's just nice to show support. So thank you so much for gifting me this. Um, and you guys should go and check her out too. I'm going to end the vlog now because I need to go drink my hot chocolate and jump in the shower. I am going to get a shower. A bit late for a bath. But um, thank you all so much for watching this vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you all back here tomorrow at 5pm. Good night, guys.